Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and today we're looking at the 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge. Here is my share code. Got it? Great. Now let's get into this. I'm going to show you guys the build and the tune. We got 1500 horsepower and this thing weighs around 3000 pounds. Um, all I had to do was put a drift best for handling press search and I'm the very first one that comes up. So there's that. Car mastery, they do say that you can drift this thing, and I believe it. So let's get into this, show you guys everything I put onto this. I'll show you guys the tune. I'm gonna take it outside and go drifting with it. So we got the 8.9 liter V8, having all that power, all wheel drive drivetrain. Stock front bumper, stock rear wing spoiler, and stock hood. All right, yes, I understand you could put, you know, this on there, but, or that, or that, and that, that's actually not that bad. That actually does look pretty good. That is just huge. But, uh, yeah, and I, I do like that. That That is pretty on there, but I decided to leave it stock. All right, we got a stock tire compound, all right. Uh, if you go with the snow tire compound that I like to use, it'll take you all the way up to an S1 class. So, there's that. Alright, we've got stocks in the front and the rear. i got my favorite rims, the TC105Ns. 14s in the front, 14s in the rear. Stock in the front, maxed out in the rear, and it looks weird. I'll just tell you that. I mean, that... that that tire is definitely rubbing. Mm -hmm. And I maxed out the uh, the, the rear uh, tire, of course. Look at that. It's a huge difference. Huge difference. All right, we've got a stock transmission, stock driveline, and a drift differential. You got sport brakes, at least on this thing, drift springs and dampeners, anti roll bars for the front and the rear. No roll cage, and as light as possible. We're saving almost 700 pounds. So, there's that. And that's it. All right, that 1,500 horsepower engine you can't mess with. Okay. Let's go right to the tune, show you guys what did I do to this thing. So, it's got 55 and 55. Here is my gearing. All right, it's all pretty close to each other. But with this 1,500 horsepower engine, you need them to be uh, low and close. Alright, here is my alignment that I've come up with on this one. A little different. Here's my anti-roll bars. They're just there for show. Soft as possible and then low as you can go for the front and the rear. Here's my dampening. No downforce. Brakes are, are street brakes or sport brakes, whatever they were. Can't tune them. And then my differential is 76, 86, 97, 97. I have 90% of all that power going to the rear wheels. Let's take her outside and see how she, how she handles. Smooth. And you got that tack right there that you can see on the hood. How cool is that, huh? Of course, it's just going to constantly redline there, you know. But yeah, it's, it's a pretty sweet ride, I'll tell you that much. But it drifts with ease. Of course it does. I tuned it. Yeah, this is a phenomenal A-class car. 
She just drifts for days. She's beautiful. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous all the way around. I'm not going to do the whole mountain thing. Um, I did it last night. I forget what the score is. I do have a, a, uh, a replay of it. It's three minutes long, though. Um, I can always just skip it right to the end. Um, but that's what we'll do. Um, I'm just going to drift a little section of this. And at least the video's in 1440p. Um, they were in 4K, but my capture card is acting funny. And i got to figure out how to fix it um, and before we can have 4K again. But hey, 1440 is good too. Alright, it's still a step up from 1080 that I've been using for the past how many years I've been doing this. You know, so uh, I will take it. Uh, regardless. I mean, I'm playing on my TV and it's in 4K, but uh, the uh, capture card, well, the OBS is maxing me out um, at 1440p. Well, it's my computer too. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is, and once I figure out a fix to make sure that the popping noise in, in, uh, noises in general from, from my uh, system goes away, um, we'll be back in 4K uh, video capturing. Either way, as I said, um, we'll, we'll just show you guys here this. I know it's three minutes long. We're just going to speed through it and see what we got. All right, so yeah, we'll just skip on through to near the bottom here. Sorry about this. It is what it is. I made a long video. That works. Let's we'll start there. And I hit 800 real quick with this thing. That, that was impressive. And there's 900. I mean, I knew I had something special when, I, when I'm looking at these numbers. And even though with the soft suspension, there really isn't much body roll. There's some. There's some, but it really works together. Of course, I could have made that and just drifted all the way around, but, you know, it is what it is. So I basically lost like 2,000 points right there just by doing that little twist. It is what it is. But she gets great angle and I was able to get a 1.159 with it. Um, so there's that. So yeah, it's very impressive. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you do, definitely hit that like button. And yeah, check that out. That was pretty cool. Here, let's look at that. Isn't that awesome? It's just a cool car all the way around. Absolutely gorgeous all the way around. It's very special. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. If you do, definitely hit that like button. I said it again. It's fine. It is what it is. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.